Okay, great saints. Welcome to question two of the 2017 Eastern Cape November final, paper one. We're going to take a look at question two. But before we do, I want us to go back to question one. I did not uh, mention that question one is finance. <sighs> Welcome to question two, which is finance. And question one as well was finance. Those are going to be on paper one question paper. So this is the 2017 November. In 2017, these topics were on paper one. And we're just going to continue. So Mr. V. Manga uh, is a homeowner and receives a monthly account statements from the municipality for rates and services. So rates and services is when you have a house in the suburbs, for example, you pay um, to own a house there and you also pay for the services that is picking up uh, the municipality de um, refuse, for example, and you pay for all those services and they charge you. So it can be annually, it can be monthly. In this case, they sent him a statement telling him how much he owes every month. So an extra A refers to the municipality account statement he received study the statement and answer the questions that follow so next step is we're going to look at the statement that's from the top there this says it's for question two and let's get started so the statement says that this is from this are the people who made this account statement from buffalo city municipality uh, metropolitan municipality uh, I can't read these words here I'm not sure why they're printing out um, faint and then in tax invoices and then we have the registration uh, vet registration number remember you have to pay vet um, account number and uh, customer vet registration number customer did not supply a registration number there for vet and the statement date so this statement was made on the 2017 05 so it was made on the 19th of may uh 2017 and then it says due date so due date is for the money that this person has to pay so who is this person there's his details there he's v manga living in mdansane and it says name v manga physical address so this will be his postal address and this is his physical address where he lives in um, the street and his own area in Umdantani. And he has a reference number, ERF -E -E number, there it is. And then area, it says that the area, so that should be 355 and unit number, here is, you see the unit number, market value. So this should be the value of his house or property, which is 267000 and then rebated at 15000 So this amount here. Now remember, when they calculate your rates, they calculate your rate based on the cost of your house and size. And so they're like, okay, we're not going to calculate for 15000 We're just going to calculate for 252000 So they've, um, they've, they're giving him a discount there. Only 252000 rent will be um, looked at when we are calculating your rates. You don't have to worry about that right now. Just... Um, but you have to be aware. You don't have to worry about how it's done. So 2204, 2017, the services, um, they didn't give us the name exactly here. But here they tell us this is for fire. This is for the property, property. And this is for refuse. This is for water. This is for sewage. As you can see, there's a toilet seat right there. And then we also have... Um, the prices. Okay, so balance brought forward means that there was statement from last month closed with this amount, right? This was the balance day. He was owing 1,433 rands and 18 cents. And that was the, from last month. Now this month, we are going to write that amount down because he still owes it. And then we're going to continue with this um, statement here. Okay, so it doesn't have to be last month. It could be last week in case they started this week and closed the last week's one now. So it just says that the, from the previous document, this was, is what the balance is. So now we're going to write it down on this document and then continue. And then we have on the 24th here, it says CC, thank you. So at the moment they say thank you, I'm thinking somebody paid. Thank you for paying. And there you can see it, it says minus 800. Now, if you read at the top there, just finding out what this is, charge. So this is not actually a charge. This is a payment, but it's excluding VAT. So this, um, it says this amount is excluding VAT. So there was no VAT um, needed to be calculated here because it's just a payment. Uh, VAT, um, 
the, there's no VAT. And then it says, including VAT, 800. As you can see, they didn't increase anything. He's just paying. Okay, so on the 20th of 5, 2017, the subtotal. So after he paid, um, what happened? Okay, so he had a balance of 1,433 rands and 18 cents. Then if he paid 800 rand, see, minus, he paid 800 rand. If you take a calculator and you say this amount minus 800 rand, you'll get 633 rand and 18 cents. So now he owes 633 rand and 18 cents. Then after that, they added some other things that he has to pay. So now fire levy, 39 rand 47 cents without VAT. It says they're excluding VAT. So this money does not include VAT. But then they went ahead and calculated the VAT and then added it. Once you add the VAT, it's 45 rand. So now we can see that it's going to, um, it, it's not negative, so it's not going to subtract because they had written it down for us there as negative. Okay, so um, property rates residential. And then that's 216 rents and 40 cents. Yeah. So he's paying the rates for his property and that, that they didn't, there's no um, vet added there. Because rates are, are so, somewhat like tax, so you, it's, not, it's not like add tax on tax, right? So it's the somewhat like tax. So two hundred and sixteen dollars and forty cents, and then that's also going to be adding to how much he owes. Another thing that he has to pay for is market value rebate. Okay, so now they're rebating. Just I want you to note this this word as you're going to use it again in grade twelve. You need to know what rebate means. Rebate means that um, they are lowering your costs, so it's like a discount. Now don't call it a discount. Let's use the word rebate for rebates right so they're going to discount him for 12 rents and 15 cents and his rebates are going to be 12 and 15 cents so that they're going to subtract there and then he's going to uh, it's going to um owe less and then we have meter number 54121 that's his meter number for water in term 10 kiloliters the measurement there is kiloliters so he used 10 kiloliters of water and then he was charged 120 rands and 11 cents before vet so excluding vet and then they calculated the vet and added it and it ended up being 136 rands and 93 cents and then sewage um for 366 um meters squared okay so I'm not sure why it says there it's 366 the area and then they say it's 355. I'm not sure it could be a mistake. But then um it's 104 rands and 76 cents, and then it's 14 rand and 60 cents cents is the VAT that is added to that amount, and then um including VAT, the charge will be 119 rand and 43 cents. Okay, so if you look at this, this is what happened. Again, let's go through it. If you look at this amount here, this was the balance he was, she was oh he was owing um, when this uh, statement was opened one thousand four hundred and thirty three rands and eighteen cents. Then he paid some of that money and it lowered to it subtracted to um, six hundred and thirty three rands and eighteen cents. Then they added fire levy domestic. Then they added property. Then they subtracted market value. Then they added two hundred and ten rand for refuse. They added the money for water. They added money for sewage and then. In the total then would be what will come out if you press those in the calculator but now they've done it all for us here and they've gone ahead and said um current he owes 751 cents in, in 30 days he owes 633 rand and 18 cents and 60 days yes that they didn't say anything and then said 90 days um 90 plus days so now it says total charge excluding vets so if you add all those amounts there you'll find that he owes 1285 rand and 98 cents if you add all the vet it's 62 rand and 81 cents so he's going to owe after vet so the money he owes is 1285 rand and 98 cents plus vet and then you get the total charge you can calculate it coming from the top there because all the amounts are included here and then you'll get the same amount if you just take this amount plus that amount and you get a so that you can get a in both ways then um at the bottom here we have we also here have um a water tariff we're not given electricity tariff i'm just going to go ahead and assume that in this municipality they don't supply electricity or they were not interested in including it for us so um water tariff six kiloliters is is calculated at 11 rands and 19 oh, 9175 four kiloliters at 12 and 10 kiloliters okay so remember you have to separate your water first before you do this calculation Manga is a homeowner and received a monthly account statement from the municipality for the rates and services. So refer to Annexure A, we did that. And now we're going to answer the questions. State the name of the municipality that has issued the account statement. Okay. We're just going to go back to the statement again. 
There it is. So if you look right there at the top, it says Buffalo City Metropolitan Municipality. So basically, that is the answer for question 2.1. Make sure you write it in full. So 2.2. For 2.2, 2.2 says write down the date on which the statement was issued. Okay, let's go back to the statement. Okay, it says the statement date and due date. So there's two dates there. The one that they want, let's go back to the question again. They say they want the one the statement was issued. So this one is when the statement was um made for the um for the client. And then this one. Then this one is when the due date is when he's supposed to pay the last day of payment. So then the statement date will be the one that they want, 2017-05-2019. Then we go to the next question. Next question says, explain what the amount minus 800 rand means in Annex A. Let's go to Annex A and go find minus 800 rand. There it is right there. So... Obviously, they say thank you, and then when he owes, the money is positive. Then now suddenly it says thank you with a negative, and then it decreases how much he owes. So that is a payment. So he paid. It means he paid. Okay, he paid 800 rand. That's, you can say that if you want. Right, so now we're going to look at question 2.4. Show how the VAT of 25 rents and 79 cents charged on refused domestic was calculated. Show how the VAT of show how the VAT of 25 rents and 79 cents was calculated on the refuse. Now let's go here and look for the refuse. If you take a look at, I want to show it at the same time so we can all look at it. There's the refuse right there. Refuse. Um, just bear with me a little bit because I need to talk about this a little bit. Because usually learners answer this question wrong even though they understand everything. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the refuse. Where is it? <laughs> there, down there. Okay, so the refuse... It says here, refuse 184 rands and 21 cents. Now, remember, it had said this excludes VAT now. And then they calculated the VAT for us and gave it to us. And then they gave us the amount including VAT. So this plus this will give you this. Now, if you understand that this is a total, it's tempting to say you get one, uh, 25 rands 79 by saying 210 minus 184 rands will give you 25.79. 25 Yes, that's true. But that is not the question. The question is not saying um, sh calculate 25 rand and 79 cents. They're saying how did we, the person who did this question paper, how the, 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 the person who did the statement, how did they calculate the 25 rand and 79 cents? Okay. They didn't have the total. They didn't have it. They had a cost of 184 rand and 21 cents. Suddenly, they have VET. Another question is, how? Show how VET is calculated. That's what this question is saying, right? So if they had just put A there and said, what is VET? Then you can use any method you want. But this question is not saying that. They're saying, how? If you have 141 rand and 21 cents and the VET is 25 rand, how do you get the VET, right? So we get the VET by taking this amount, calculating VET using 15%, and then we're going to get this. Now, might bear with me, they used 14% on this question, which is 25 rand and 79 cents. Now, I'm not going to use 14% because you're not going to use 14% in your exams. So here, this is a VET, and then we're going to say, hey, hey, this is how they calculated VET. They took the 184 rands and 21 cents. They multiplied by 15%. If you just multiply this amount by 15%, you'll get the VET. So I'm not going to write the answer because the answer is not going to be the same as the one written here. But if you multiply this by 14%, you'll see VET is no longer 14%, so I'm not going to use 14%. Just for so that you remember that in the exams you're using 15%. Okay. <clears throat> 
Now we go to 2.5. 2.5 says Mr. V Manga used an average of 13 kiloliters of water for the month of June. Use the water tariff charges given in Annex A to determine the total amount payable for water charges. Okay. For the month of June, and I'm going to take you to the bottom. If you look at your statement, right, there's your information details and the amounts that it If you go to the bottom, remember we said there's tariffs there. We have electricity tariff and water tariff, but they gave us water tariff. So for, to calculate water, we are going to look at... We are going to look at the water tariff. Now, let's go back to the question. The question says V Manga used an average of 13 kiloliters. So the first thing we're going to do is separate the kiloliters. Now, remember, you may have seen something like this where it says 0 to 6 kiloliters and 6 kiloliters to 11 and so on and so forth, right? So now we're not given this and we have to find the maximum and say the maximum here is 6, the maximum here is 4, and then there's the amounts right here where you use to multiply. We are not given this. We're given this part. So we can just go ahead and separate our water. So we're going to go ahead and say... Um, 13 kiloliters. We're going to separate our water depending on where. So 6 kiloliters is going to be calculated there. So if we put 6 kiloliters on the first row there, we're going to say it goes to the first row. We're going to be seven, left with 7 kiloliters. And then our 7 kiloliters, we check Oh, only 4 goes there. So now we have to put 4 there and that goes to row 2. And we've left now, now see, in row and then we are left with 3 kiloliters. And then the 3 kiloliters, we're going to check on this one here, 10, then we leave all of that on 10. Now, here's what's happening. The payment is done in different sections. In different sections, in different sections. I'm just going to do it like that. So, in, in the first section, you can put, you can calculate for 6 kiloliters. So, we have 13, right? We have 13. So, we put 6 kiloliters in there. And then if we put 6 kiloliters in there from the 13, we say 13 minus 6, and then we're left with 7. So we have 7 kiloliters, and here only 4 kiloliters is calculated, and we have now left, we are left now with 7 kiloliters. So we go again and put 4 kiloliters in there, and then we are now left with 3 kiloliters, and then we are going to say... We can put 10 kiloliters in there. We only have three, so that's going to fit in there, and there's going to be nothing left. So that's what we're doing here. We're saying there we have 13 kiloliters, and only six will be calculated in row one. It says right there. And only four will be calculated in row two, and a 10 in row three, 10 in row four, and whatever's left. So what we're going to do is we only have 13. Once we leave six in the first row, we are left with seven. Once we leave four in the second row, like see, four plus um, six plus four is 10. So we, from that 13, we are left with three. So here's three, and then we go to row three, and then we find that we can just leave it there. And then we do our calculation. Cost is equal to, and then I'm just going to um, <coughs> use this amount here. In the first row, we have 6 kiloliters. So we're going to take our 6 kiloliters, multiply it by 11 rands and 917550. Plus, then we're going to say 4 times uh, 12.151250. Now, be careful on this one. Don't take the 10. Take the 3 because there's, if you take 10, then you'll have 6 plus 4 plus 10. Take the 3 because that's what we have. 3 times the 16.876510. 6 times 11.91750. That is 71.505 plus 4 times 12.151250. Five zero, and that is forty eight point six zero five, and then we have three times sixteen point eight seven six five one zero, and then we have fifty point six two nine five three. Okay, so now we're going to say we add them all together. And we're left with one, we, we, we owe 170.739.53. Now, remember, this is money, so it, it is up to two decimal places. So we're going to round off by looking at the neighbor, 170.74 rands, and we move on with our lives.
Okay, last question. Calculate the value of A. So now we have um, the amount here, including that. And so A is equal to, so say 1,000 right over here. One thousand two hundred and eighty-five rands and ninety-eight cents plus sixty-two rands and eighty-one, and then we get A. Uh, that is the end of our question two.